Let us look to the one and single writer multiple reader algorithm for atomic registers. Here is initial algorithm that we took already from the regular register. <clears throat> and we we'll modify it a little bit and we'll see here. So again, we are not using failure detector, meaning that we are in asynchronous system, fail silent model. Each node will have a sequence number and register values will have sequence numbers. So a register value will be a value plus a sequence number. Okay. So here is the write operation. To perform a write, a node, the writer, which we have only one writer anyway, increments its sequence number, which is initially zero. It broadcasts the value V and the sequence number to all nodes. And now the receiving nodes will do the following. If the newer we got a newer sequence number, we update the local value, and we send an acknowledgement back to the sender. The sender will wait for act from a majority of nodes, and if it gets this, it will return. This is tell us at least here that the algorithm is resilient to less than half of the nodes failing. If less than half of the nodes fail, the algorithm still will get acknowledgement from the majority, and the write will complete. So the termination condition will be satisfied. Now let us look to one of the readers. So what he does, he broadcast a read request to all. Receiver responds with the local value and the sequence number. The requesting reader waits and saves the values from a majority of nodes and then picks the one with the highest sequence number. So let us see if this algorithm is correct. And there is actually some problem with this that we can see right now. The algorithm that we just described admits this execution, the execution that we have here. And what is the problem with this execution? The problem with this execution is that this read is happening after this read and it's returning an old value written here so so that is cannot be correct so let us see how this can happen with the algorithm that we just mentioned so it's actually regular but not atomic so there is a problem here with majority voting remember that the majority we have five nodes so we have three here let's see what's what's going to happen so node p2 broadcast his right operation the value five to augment the sequence number one, and it needs only acknowledgements from three nodes. It gets an acknowledgement from itself, from node P3, and from node P1. So P2 and P1 have acknowledged. Let's continue here. Let us look to this guy. So we have a single writer. So he's after he finished his uh, write five, he starts a write six, and he sends his broadcast operation out and the operation is not yet complete but you can see here that it is it is with a sequence number two so let's look now to p1 p1 does a request here and it got an acknowledgement let us see from whom it got from itself at this point probably the value is five and it got the value from P2, so it got a value which is 6 with a higher sequence number, so it got from this guy a value 6 with a higher sequence number, and it got a value 5 from P3. So it has three values, one of them is 6 with a sequence number 2, and the others are 5 with a sequence number 1, and according to our algorithm it will pick the one with a high sequence number, so it can return here the value 5. It can return here, sorry, the, the value 6 and terminate the read operation. Let us now look to the late, to the, that read. That's a very interesting read because in the point when we start this read, neither process P4 nor P5 have already, have got the latest written value, which is 6. Correct. And not even P3, 
because P3 is going to get the updated value here, whereas this request came before that. So what we can see now is that P4 will uh, have a majority, and the majority has the value 5 with the sequence number 1, and will accept that and terminate. So this really does not work. It violates uh, linearizability. So, so what is really the problem in this case? The problem here is that while the write operation is not terminating, there is a possibility of returning two values, either 6 or 5. 6 because that is the value being written and 5 because that's the previous value. And as long as we are not sure, we have, we, as long as we are not sure, so either of these values can, um, can happen or can exist. So the way to solve this problem is to make sure that whenever a node reads the values from a number of nodes, and this value, one of them have a higher sequence number than the other, it might just conclude that before it returns the value 6, it has to make sure that the write operation really terminates. And how it does that? It does that, but, but something that we call um, a write impose. And the write impose will, in this, in this case, actually ex make a reader, in case it gets different values, it will perform a write operation with the one with the highest sequence number. So let's look through this into the next slide so it might be simple to see. So the main idea of read impose is when reading also make a write before responding. And let us look here. So when reading, if you happen to read the value 6 and you got it somehow uh, only one of, of the responses is 6 and the others are less, with less timestamp, then make sure that you perform a write. And that extends the read operation until the write is performed. When you finish here, you know that the value has been completely written. There's another reason also for this read impose, which enforcing a write. And it is basically what happens if a node, in this case, node, uh, P3 starts a write and then fails in the middle. And it just happened that only one node gets this value. And the value in this case is, so this node, node P2 gets the value, the value is 6. And we said we have to have an atomicity of failure. So if the other nodes, do, if you don't, if a reader does not do anything and just read the value 6, then the other nodes can read another value, which is the value of 5, the previous value before failing. And therefore, a reader is obliged to impose to achieve the atomicity of failure. Very good. So here is our algorithm. The right is as usual. And what's the reader is going to do? This was the old reader. What it's going to do now is that it will whenever it waits and save the value from a majority of nodes and instead of just returning the highest sequence number it it performs a write with the high sequence number which mean it means that it takes the value with that sequence number and broadcasts it to all nodes as a write request and waits for acknowledgement from majority and once this happens it returns the value written so again, this is to ensure that a majority have written the latest value. Thank you.